We're all used to using acrylic or enamel model paints to complete our scale models, but I had a thought the other day, and isn't nail polish just essentially paint? So I went to the shop, picked up a couple of different ones, and thought it would be a good idea to see if I could build and finish a model using just these. I'm Matt, this is Model Minute, and welcome to my nail polish challenge. So the rules for this are pretty simple. I have to build a plastic model kit and the only thing I'm allowed to paint it with is nail polish. So I picked up this Jet Provost Airfix kit from a local supermarket, which was retailing pretty cheap and I thought it would make a good subject, particularly given that it has a fairly simple paint scheme. I then decided to pick up a selection of nail polish. I've got here some colours which I think will go really well with this kit, particularly the red which, although it's sort of like a London bus kind of colour, will be a good facsimile for the red included in the model kit. I also picked up some isopropyl alcohol because I thought it might be good as a thinner. This isn't going to be like one of my normal builds because I've already built this kit and if you'd like to see a full build on this I'll link it in the description. So I'm going to skip some of the steps and you can see that I've assembled the cockpit and I'm going to paint it with this grey paint which I tried thinning down with the isopropyl alcohol but it didn't work out that well and I actually ended up just using it straight out of the bottle. I then moved on to use the black on the internal cockpit areas, which was again used straight out of the bottle because it was just a lot easier to use it like that. The nail polish is quite thick and gloopy, so I just had to be really careful when I applied it. When the cockpit was inside one of the fuselage halves, I made sure not to forget to add the transfer that goes on the control panel. And then when that was done, I could glue together the fuselage halves and join the tail surfaces and wings to the model. Now it's time to start painting it in this lovely double decker red nail polish. I did this straight out of the bottle using the applicator brush which is included in the lid and it was quite thick and gloopy to apply. I ended up putting down about two or three layers of this polish and I found that it dried pretty quickly but it did take a little while to cure all the way through, so I had to be careful when putting on the next couple of layers. When that was done, I moved on to painting the wheels black and then doing the anti-glare panel on the nose. I used the brush that came included with the uh, model kit for this bit, and I just took my time to move the unthinned polish around the correct areas. It was now time to apply the transfers to the model and this was done in my usual method which can be found in any of my modeling videos. After this I moved on to use this extra silver varnish which I used on the landing gear legs and I found that whilst it was okay it wasn't really the best one to use. I think there was another one that had been in the shop but they'd sold out which had a finer pigment density. Uh, this one is a little bit big in the sort of glittery sparkly parts and uh, I wasn't that happy with it but for what it was it did the job. And then what can I say about the canopy? Well that was painted very carefully with some more polish following the molded lines. Now it's time to finish off the build so I'm going to add the landing gear to the bottom of the model and I thought it would be a good idea to try and seal in the transfers when that was done. So I'm using this clear nail polish varnish and it was applied to the bottom surfaces of the model. But as I was applying it, I started to notice something a little bit undesirable. And that was the fact that it started to melt the transfers and also the previous layers of varnish. So I decided to stop where I was and not apply any more of that and just leave the model as it was in an unvarnished condition. The next step was to glue into place the cockpit canopy and with that my nail polish challenge build Jet Provost in 172nd scale is now complete. And here it is, my finished Jet Provost in 172nd scale, completely finished with nail polish. So I think that you might agree that it is completely painted 
and the finish is not terrible but it is a little bit blotchy uh, in a few places the gloss isn't completely uniform and the paint is quite thick um, I think you probably could get a wash onto that into the recessed details if you wanted to whilst this isn't necessarily the best paint job in the world there is something here Nail polish does have a place in modeling, but I haven't quite figured out what exactly that place is yet, for me at least. In some respects though, I think that the paint finish on this kit is better than the included Humbrol 19 acrylic paint that you get in the set. So for an alternative, if you don't have any other red paint lying around, I think that nail polish in a pinch might do the job. I am a bit disappointed that the isopropyl alcohol wasn't the right medium to thin the paint with. It wasn't very good at uh, cleaning the brush either, so I ended up having to throw the brush away. I need to figure out what would be the better thinning medium, perhaps um, acetone, no that will melt the plastic, that's not a good idea, don't do that. Um, or white spirit perhaps would be a better choice. But at the time I made this video I didn't think to use it, and instead ended up using the polish straight out of the bottles. This isn't exactly a cheap challenge with the bottles costing around about four pounds each. I did manage to get them on a special deal, which was I think four for the price of three or something like that. So it made it a bit cheaper, but as they compare to model paints, they are a little bit more expensive and you do get a little bit less in there. Oh, and as a side note, it looks like I didn't put enough weight in the nose again in this aircraft. As is pretty standard on my models, I always put in not enough or completely forget, so I need to try and make sure to remember on the next aircraft I do with a nose wheel. But I think this is probably time to wrap this one up. This was a fun and fairly simple build to do, which didn't take too long to complete. The build of the model was generally okay, despite the issues that I highlighted during the unboxing of this particular model kit. The paints, or rather polish, as they actually are, were okay. I think that I would come back to try and use them again at some point in the future. I think that perhaps some of the colours could be used for certain things if I can figure out how to thin them down correctly. At the end of the day though, this has been a fun project to complete, it wasn't too serious, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of my nail polish challenge, and if you'd be interested in having a go at something like this for yourself. I'd like to give a quick mention to a fellow YouTuber, Barbatus Rex, whose video on airbrushing nail polish kind of helped to give me the inspiration and the little nudge that I needed to get started with this nail polish challenge. I'll post a link to that if you're interested to find out what his results were like with nail polish and airbrushing in the description. As always, a quick shout out to my channel members and patrons for the extra support they give the channel. Massive thanks to these guys on screen. If you'd like to find out more about how you can get involved, take a look at the links in the description. If you're new here and you'd like to join our community, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you never miss a modeling upload. Finally, the last thing to say is a massive thank you to you for watching this one, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.